a really important thing to know and understand how to do as a truck driver with your semi is going to be sliding your tandems on your trailer. It's something you will do quite frequently, especially a lot of your shippers want the tandem slid all the way back and then you got to move them back to balance. In this video, let's review on how to do that. There are two different types of pin pulling mechanisms that I know of. These are the really nice ones. You see them silver. They're right back here, right in front of the tires here. Sometimes they're faced this way and sometimes they're faced the front of the truck. First, make sure your air brakes are set for your truck and trailer, and you can come here and, and pull it. Sometimes I've had these mess up, and you're going to have to find something to wedge this to hold it out while you actually move the truck. Now, over here on this trailer, I'll be doing some jumping around like that. This is the more common one you're going to see. See it's right here? It's right in front of the tires right here. Just gonna reach in there and grab this handle, pull it out, and wedge it down. And you can see there's a little hook there where you, it'll normally latch down. But this is an old rusty thing, and it's wore out. I had to take and wedge my needle nose in there. You see that little cutout? But I wedged my needle nose in there to do it. But when you pull it up here, you can see that pin right there it'll pull in to give you the ability to slide it. You see right now, it actually pulled it back and it's kind of hung in there, so I'll have to move it to lock it back in. Go down through here, and then here's another one right here. There's actually four in this thing. Now, um, sometimes, not as prominent, I think as much time these shippers are having to slide these tams so much, so it's not as big of a deal as it used to be at one time. But sometimes they get hung up in those pins I just showed you. There's two on this side, two on the other side. Sometimes you have to get in there and beat the hell out of them with a hammer or something to get them to go in for you to be able to slide it. When you have to do that, it's gonna be probably a rough night, but hopefully that's not gonna be the case. Now, once you get the pins to suck in, truck's running all your brakes are set you're gonna go up there you're gonna get in your truck leave your trailer brakes set make sure there's plenty of room behind your truck and trailer and in front because you're going to be moving but your the back tandems of this trailer will not be because that's because you're moving your tandems and if you drive forward that's going to slide your tandems backwards so like if i pulled forward these are going to go backwards onto the trailer which if that happens it's going to be putting weight more weight on the trucks drives and steers remember when you're transferring weight it's not just going to go from just your tandems to just your drives most of the weight will but some of it is going to go up to your steers too or be took off of your steers depending on how you do it and most time when you go to do it, you're going to have to kind of wiggle back and forth a little bit. And then most time, then pins will go. So don't just jump to the hammer. Go ahead and right off the get-go. Just try driving back and forth just a little bit, wiggling it. And a lot of times, they'll go ahead and lock, latch. And you can pull forward or backwards. Kind of a rule of thumb that I like to use. Okay, when you first start, you're going to want to come. Like, you'll see this pin here. Get you something to mark the frame right there so you know right where it was at. Keys, knife, a marker, whatever you choose to use. So that way you know how many holes where you started at. Say, uh, let's, my rule of thumb is every hole you slide is going to transfer over 250 pounds. Is it perfect? No. And sometimes trailers, these holes can be either closer or further apart. But just a good rule of thumb. 250 pounds seems to have been, it's been working for me for when I'm doing my math and it's been working out. So you'll do that and then that way when you pull it up, you go to come back here, you can see exactly, okay, hey, I've moved five holes, I only need to move three. So now I need to back up a little bit or vice versa. Now once you've finished and you've got it slid right next to the hole you need it to be in, with the manual one, like the one I'm just showing you here, this go rusty and kind of messed up you'll just take smack up on it put and it'll swap back up in there and then pins will push out and then 
you need to go get better back in the truck and move it a little bit whichever way you need to for those pins to latch don't forget to do this you don't want to be driving down the road when you hit your brake pedal these tandems go slam into the back of the trailer because I don't know if that could cause anything damaging but very good possibility um, the other style where it's a little push button um, as you move your trailer air brakes um, it should automatically do it for you but I would definitely double check um, one little quick thing um, when I'm doing this I normally have a cer certain spot I run my tandems at all times because you want a common spot because that way everywhere you're driving the truck and trailer is going to react close to the same like when you're cornering or backing um i don't necessarily like it but i normally use the california 40. i'll show you on um some trailers are marked some are not you see right here that this is 40 feet from the kingpin of the trailer to right here and as you can see, I am not at the California 40. Honestly, I just didn't care, didn't want to mess with it. That that arrow pointing down needs to be lined up right with the center of that wheel. If you go in the state of California, you better have it there or slid up even further or they can write you a ticket. And there is other states that have bridge laws, but think Georgia but I'm not really sure and I don't want to tell you guys wrong but that's one thing to keep in mind and also remember as you're moving these if you move them back you're going to have to go around a lot wider corners because the trailer is going to be going in a lot shorter than you're used to and then well you think you got to figure it out the you move them up well then you're going to have that big old booty hanging out there and that is dangerous like i said i always just try to find a place that i normally balance it and normally i'll have that california 40 arrow most trailers marked if not i'm mean, especially california you better measure it and figure it out but i'll line it right up with the center of that wheel or that back tandem there i'll go right to the very front of that tire that's a pretty good sweet spot that i like well, i hope this helps you guys and always remember whenever you're moving weights there's three spots you got weights it's just not two you've got your tandems your drives and your steers